Liam? Tonight I won't be coming back there, so take care of the place. What? Again with this Marn? Just this month now, you've gone out and stayed out for the night how many times now? Aren't things starting to become a bit too frequent now? Oh? Are you trying to put a limit on my life now? You're going to put a leash on me? The one that chose you out of all the men I could have married? All the men you could have married? Ugh, I didn't mean that in some crazy way, okay? I meant that back before I started to date you, I'd been asked out by all sorts of men, but turned them all down besides you. And I know why the reason for all that is. You're very pretty, and you have the body of a model. Back after college, when you came up to me and told me how much you liked me, I was so happy and thought that day would never come. And soon after that, you and I got married and everything. So if you're still happy to be with me, then no more complaints about the way I'm living my life. As for tonight, I'll be staying at my friend's place. Good night. Carly, it's been a little while since I've last spoken with you. Do you have any guesses as to where I am right now? I happen to be at a hotel with your husband, Josh. And of course, this isn't your average hotel either. He and I are here with the intent of getting it on tonight, so we've made sure it's the kind of hotel that honeymooners would come to. Josh and I. For some reason, he and I are just meant for one another. And if this hasn't already been obvious to you as well, your husband Josh is a whole lot more handsome than your little brother. He also brings in way more money. Three months ago, when I got married to Liam, I had just started to find out who his older sister was married to, and I regretted the fact that I got married too quickly. But, well, in the end, Josh has told me that compared to his plain and fat wife, I am a whole lot prettier and fitter than you. And that's why I'll be taking Josh from you for the time being. Please and thank you. Now, I have to get back to pleasing my good-looking man. I hope you won't mind this too much. Liam, do you have a second to talk? Hi, Carly. Sure. What's going on? Liam... Have you even noticed that your wife is cheating on you right now? Huh? What's all this about now? Her and I have only been together with one another as husband and wife for the past three months. Don't start saying things that'll get me all paranoid, please. The reason why I'm telling you this now is because if I don't, things will only hurt worse for you when you find out yourself. Why, but... All of this is coming out of left field and makes absolutely no sense. I understand that I'm being very blunt about this right now. And both you and I haven't really been very close to each other for a while, so please forgive me for this. Um, well, I don't really care that you're being blunt or anything. But anyway, what's going on here? Just last night, I got some texts from Marin telling me all about how she took my husband to a hotel. Took him to a hotel? And she texted you about that? She was going on and on about how she took Josh and had him at a hotel with her where they were making love. Uh -huh. Hey, that Marin chick. Does she still think that you and I are completely avoiding one another still, and that's why she did that to me? Ah, uh, that might be the case. And recently, Marin has been going out quite a lot. And when she does, she'll stay the night wherever she's gone out to. Ever since Mom and Dad got divorced a little while back, she's been going out a lot and not coming back home until the morning. And I think she's doing that because she assumes I'm still thinking about the divorce. I see. So that's how she got away with all of this, and you weren't able to figure out what she was really up to. All those texts that she sent you. Did she think you could show them to me? Sure. I was planning to do that from the start. 
I know that this is all very sudden for you, but could you come and see me later today or tomorrow? I can send you the screenshots of all the messages she sent me, but also want to meet in person to talk about what we're going to do about all of this. All right. How about we get a table at some restaurant, have a conversation there? Troy, some are out of town, so nobody that we might know hears us talking. Good point. I think we should go ahead and do that. Then... I'm going to hit up one of my old friends that runs a restaurant out in the countryside. See if he can get us a table. He's still very close to me, so he'd never talk about anything he overhears from us. I'll make sure to send you the time and everything, and we can meet at later. Sounds good. Thank you, Liam. Carly? This is about my love life with your husband Josh and all. I've noticed that you never ever replied any of my texts about us, but you are reading these as I can see the messages being left on read. How can a fatty like you be allowed to ghost me like that? You actually think you have the right to do something like that? <laughs> the only people that are allowed to ghost others are beautiful women like me when we're trying to sift around for the right man. It's just lame for someone as fat as you to do it to me when your husband is pretty much abandoning you. You idiot. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. I have to tell you what I started texting you for. I... I have been proposed to by Josh. And that means he's going to start working on divorcing you now. So please, make sure to end things with him quickly for me. <laughs> Hey, Liam, please divorce me. What? I found myself a new person to love. Uh, but him and I still have not done anything yet, so you can't say that I've been cheating on you or anything. But we're getting a divorce. This is pretty abrupt. Well, we've only really been married for close to half a year, right? Just be happy that you were able to be married to a pretty woman like me. And since you're thankful for the fact that I allowed you to be married to me, you will allow me to follow what makes me happy and get this divorce, right? Who are you with? Ah, uh, right. I'm sure at some point you'll be able to figure it out. I'm with Josh, your older sister's husband. <laughs> so you've been working towards stealing my sister's husband from her this whole time? I never meant for anything like that, honestly. But in the end, of course, things look that way. I wasn't trying to lure him away from her or anything, though. I just look way too good to all men, and so... He just... you know... He started to tell me how much he loved me, and then said he wanted to get married. He knew that someone like me was already married, yet he wanted me so badly. You know... That's why in the end, I just gave in to his demands. But I told him that before he and I can truly be a couple, I had to finish up the relationship I have with you. So would you please divorce me? Do you understand that by stealing someone else's husband, you're asking for a lot in return from my sister? Oh, are you worried about her or something now? We have to understand that she's in fact my sister. Well, I'm not worried about her and you shouldn't be either. I'm sure you feel a little bit bad for her and what she could do to me, but you and her have been at odds forever and never talked to one another. You and I both know that your older sister was never raised with any love from your guys' parents, and that's why she's such an outcast. But honestly, if she's going to start getting upset with me, I won't care. Some plain-looking fatty like her doesn't mean a thing to me anyway. <laughs> so please don't worry about her and I, and just focus on that divorce now. You can leave the thought of your fat and ugly sister be. <laughs> Marn, you went and sent my older sister all kinds of texts about how you'd been stealing him from her, Roy. When she saw all of that, she started to talk with some lawyers and have you both investigated by them. And of course, she had the results of said investigation shown to me as well. We both know about how the moment you married me, you started to have a secret relationship with Josh. Um, hold on a second. I'll ask you this one more time, but you and your sister aren't close to one another, right? You had told me all about that before, right? That's true. 
but things have started to get better recently. What? You know about how my parents got divorced a little while back, right? Well, back when that divorce took place, my parents were able to have a talk with her about what all happened between her and them, and what made her so upset. And well, I was just as upset with my parents about a lot of things when her and I got to talking about our relationships to them. We learned just how similarly the both of us had felt. And during that whole time, being together with our parents, we had wanted to be close to one another, but were sure that we were hated by the other. What? But after learning the truth about our feelings from one another, we became pretty close again. What the heck? I never heard anything about that all happening between you two. I was going to tell you all about this. I was going to send you a text about it all, but I thought things would sound weird over text, so I've been waiting for the chance to tell you in person. But you're always out of the house and never coming home at night. There was never any time to tell you anything in person. So I was kind of stuck thinking about what I should do. Then I got a text from my sister saying that you had been sending her texts about how you were having an affair with Josh. Wait, what the heck is going on here? I thought the two of you still hated one another's guts or something, so I could act all high and mighty around your sister and you'd never give a crap about her. I didn't think that you'd ever be told anything by her either since you were both at odds, and that's why I wanted to have some fun with his whole situation. Why the hell at a time like this did you both decide to make up to become close again? It's not like her and I chose this specific time to become close to one another again. Things just happened this way, and that's what led up to how things will end up now. Ugh, Jesus, I'm pissed off now. Well then, let me tell your cheating but all the good news. What? Carly has told me she doesn't need her husband anymore. Huh? She doesn't need him? You think she'd still want to be with a man that's gone and stabbed her in the back like that? It sounds like she's already gone and handed in the divorce papers that Josh gave to her a couple of days ago. Wait, so they're both divorced now? Now let me be honest here. I don't care how pretty of a one you really are. If you're going to cheat on me with my own sister's husband, there is no room open in my heart for you. So we can get a divorce. Uh... I see. Of course, both my sister and I will be getting settlements from the both of you for having cheated on us. Um, for some reason, I'm not all too happy with this outcome and I'm really not looking forward to those settlements. But if I'm going to be able to marry Josh now, then I guess he'll be able to pay off all those settlements for me. Well, I suppose one could say that this kind of an ending is all right. Then let's conclude things with that. And luckily, Josh is next in line for becoming a CEO. What? Liam, I know that you've been working a long time for that company and make decent money. But you're never going to end up like Josh, who will soon become a CEO, right? I'll leave you with this. When it comes to all of you office workers out there in the world, the only way you're going to make it big is by forcing yourself to become better and gain more skills. And for me, I only want to be with men like Josh who have done that and are now going to become higher up in their company. Not really sure what you're going on about there. But from what I've heard from Carly, that seat that Josh had saved for him is gone now. Huh? He went and did a lot of really idiotic things there, and now his new seat is that of being fired. Fired? What the hell did he do? From what I heard from my sister, he would use company money when he'd go out to have affairs with different women, including yourself. He would use the money on things like hotels and room service, as well as those high-end cars he'd always be driving in to go pick up his woman. And well... The company caught on to all that, and when they learned it was the man they had wanted to be the next CEO doing all of it, well, you get the picture. The current CEO was not happy about what he heard, and neither was the rest of the company, as many of them really liked Josh and were looking forward to him being in charge of the company next. No way. Then that means... 
the hotels we stayed in and the room service we got and that car of his. All of that was paid for using the company's money and weren't all from his own income? That's what it sounds like. No. No way that's all true. Go well, back to what we've been talking about. I'm talking with my lawyer about all this. And I'm going to leave the divorce in his hands from here on out. Huh? He'll be coming to speak with you about the divorce soon. If you have anything else you'd like to say about things, then please let him know about it before asking to talk with me. Liam, uh, um, I'll go ahead and break things off with Josh, alright? So, let's forget about this whole divorce thing, alright? No. What? Good boy forever, Marn. A little bit after that, my lawyer was able to confirm that both Marin and Josh would be paying me a settlement in one lump payment, and then from there, we were able to get our divorce. Josh made sure to pay my sister and I right away, and after that, we never really heard much about it again, besides that he lost his job already, and would most likely be moving out of state. Apparently, things between him and Marin had really fallen off in those few days, between the divorces and him paying the money. So they weren't even talking to one another anymore. From there, I went and spoke with my higher-ups and they made sure to contact another branch of the company and had me transferred away from here. My older sister went ahead and did the same thing as me, and luckily enough we both ended up in the same relative area after the transfers. Right now the both of us are starting to enjoy a lot more things together as brother and sister, while also not forcing a good relationship to happen all that much. While my sister and I have been enjoying things away from the town we used to live in, I received some word about what my ex tried to do. After paying off the settlement, she ended up in a lot of debt and grew upset because of that. So she made an attempt to find me at my old house where she could try and get back together with me again. But what she didn't know is that I already went and sold that house and moved away. So after banging on the door, screaming to get back together with me, door opened to three men, who grabbed her and brought her inside the house. Since then, there's not been any word about her whereabouts. I'm not sure if anyone will be able to find her again. Honestly, I think it's best nobody knows about where she went. Most of us don't care anyway. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story. Dad, I'm sorry for texting you while you're at work, but I need your help. There's something going on here at home. Hey, Maggie. It's my lunch break right now, so I can talk for a bit. Uh, what do you need help with? What am I supposed to do about this? I can't go inside the house right now. What? I came back home early today because my stomach started to hurt and bother me quite a bit. What? What? Are you feeling well enough to stay home, though? Uh, do you need to go see the doctor? I was able to see one of the nurses near my office, and she gave me some medicine and said I most likely just have a really upset stomach. So, right now it's not as bad, but I'm not feeling well enough to get any more work done today. I see. Uh, so you're at the house now, right? Yes, I just got here a few minutes ago. But I wasn't able to go inside the house, so I went down to the park near our house and I'm laying on a bench. What happened at the house that kept you from going inside? That guy was in the house! That guy? Chris? What? Your former stalker? Yes. When I left for work this morning, I forgot to grab the key to the house so that I could let myself back in when I got home. So, since I wasn't able to go through the front door, I walked around to the yard and thought I'd be able to get in through the side entrance by the garage. And that's when I saw him. So he's inside the house right now? Yes. Wait, but isn't today the day that Mom should be home? Uh, did that guy get into the house while she left the house to go shopping or something? Um... This isn't good. I'm going to have to give her a call right now. Dad, wait. Mom was in there too. What? Um, her and Chris, they, they were on the couch together. What did you say? I, I shouldn't really get into all the details for you, right? I'm sure it would upset you further, but 
Um... I know what you're trying to say, so don't even feel bad for bringing this up to me. If anything, I'm very thankful that you're telling me the truth about what you all saw in the house. Honestly, I'm sure you are feeling pretty terrible yourself now, and I don't mean what's going on with your stomach. Um, you just had to see your mom with your ex-stalker, so I'm sorry for that, Maggie. I think for the time being, we need you to find a place to get some rest, since your stomach isn't feeling too well. Do you want to go see a doctor about it and wait there? I don't think I need to see one since I've already talked with the nurse about it. Well then, how about you wait for me at that part? Give me a minute now. Maggie? I had a talk over the phone with one of the managers at the cafe down the street from that park you're at. I told him what's going on and he said that you can go relax in the cafe for a bit if you need to. At the cafe? Why did you call there? One of the managers, honestly, the owner and his wife, uh, they both went to school with me in middle school. Their house is behind the cafe, and they said they'd be fine having you come to their cafe, and even going in and taking a nap in their house. I also had to talk with my boss about what's going on, and I'll get the rest of today off to come home. So could you please go to the cafe and wait for me? All right, I'll start heading there now. Thank you, Dad. Haven. Do you have a second? Oh, hey, Brennan. Aren't you supposed to be working right now? What's going on there? Right now I'm on my afternoon break, so, and, uh... Well, I was just told, before taking this break, that I needed at another office out of state for a bit. Uh, so I thought I'd just let you know about that. Oh, so you're going on a little business trip? And actually, Maggie will be coming along with me. What? Why would she be going along with you? You've known about how the company I'm working for and the company that Maggie is at have been customers with one another, right? Yeah. Well, I guess you told me about that a while back. And well, uh, this time that other office is asking for one representative from both companies to go over and help them with a project, so uh, both myself and Maggie were chosen to be the ones to head on out there and help out for a little bit. What a coincidence. So there you go. This will be the reason for why we both will be going on this business trip together. And depending on how things go with the project, she might even get a promotion, which would be wonderful for her. Right? It sure would be. Well, thank you for letting me know about it. Maggie? I just went and had a conversation with your mom about how we'd be going on that business trip together. All right. But man, was the timing for all of this perfect. Who would have thought that while you and I have been planning out how to deal with Mom, our companies would ask us to work on that project together? And the fact that this project will be out of state and take some time? I guess that getting all the evidence we need of your mom cheating on me will become a whole lot easier for the both of us now. However, during this whole trip, I'm not really going to be thinking about actually working or anything. Yeah, I feel the same way there. But we have to do what our companies are expecting us to do, so let's get all of that taken care of first. Yeah, let's do that. Ah, uh, my break is over with now. Uh, oh, it's getting to that time, isn't it? Uh, well then, good luck with the remainder of your work today. Thank you, Dad, and you as well. Haven, hey, you just uh, made it to the hotel we'll be staying at. That must have been a pretty long drive for you both today. I'm assuming that Maggie is there with you as well, right? Same room? Yeah. Well, no. Actually, um... She'll be in the room next to mine. But there is a door in between the walls to each room we can leave open. Uh, right now, we're getting ready to go out and grab a quick snack before bed. I see. Um, I'm sorry, Brennan. Uh, but can we cut things short for tonight? Why? Well, I have a friend of mine coming over here shortly. Oh. That's pretty <laughs> rare for you to do. I'd been texting her about how for a little while I'd be home all alone because you both are out of state, and so she said she'd come over and keep me company. She's even planning on staying the night tonight. I'll have her stay in the guest room since that's the only clean room in the house right now. <laughs> but anyway, when she gets here, I won't really be able to talk much. Understood. Have fun with your friend then. I will. Good night. 
Good night. Dad? The camera I placed in your bedroom just caught some video of Mom and Chris together in bed. For a bit there, she was looking at her phone, so I'm assuming that was when you were texting her? That was me. I just wanted to let her know that you and I made it to the hotel. Uh, thanks for telling me about that. It's so crazy how far technology has advanced. Are you still watching them now? Uh, a little. Well, I'm done talking with her tonight, and I'm sure we both know what she's going to be doing in that bed with him. So you can stop watching now, and let the camera record. Good point. They've already started making out, so I'm not sticking around for this nasty crap anymore. Maggie? I just stopped by my lawyer's office and picked up some more evidence he helped find. Oh, alright, good. From here on out, I think it would be best for you to lay low, let me handle all the legal stuff. Wait, why should I stay out of it? Because the person I'm going to have to deal with besides your mom is that stalker of yours. Ex-stalker, I mean. And from what the lawyer and his private detective were able to find for us, he is still actively trying to find out where you go and look through all your social media accounts. What? Honestly, I'm happy that you and I have been out of the state so many times these past few months. Yeah. Thank goodness. I don't want him finding any more about you than he already has. So let me and my lawyer handle the rest of this. Uh, you can go ahead and get going. Alright? Dad... Will do. Good luck with finishing what we've started. Haven, can you have a little chat? Hmm? Oh, hi, Brennan. Are you texting me to tell me about how you've made it back to that hotel again? Not this time. This time I have something a little more in-depth to talk about, so I hope you have some time right now. What? Uh, something more in-depth? Hmm. What? Is right now not the best time for you? I'm afraid so. Right now I'm in the bathtub, relaxing, so can we talk about all of that later? Well, I knew you would be taking your phone with you into the bathtub. It's not like my arms and head are in the water or anything, so what's wrong with me having my phone in here? It's waterproof anyway. When I get out of the tub and am dried off, I'll text you back, alright? Just give me a little bit longer. I can't. I'm sorry, but that is not going to happen this time. What? Now why can't you just wait a little while? You don't have anything going on over at the hotel right now, do you? I'm sorry for bothering you while you're in the tub with another man, um, but I'm going to need a settlement from the both of you, so please get on that for me. What? Come on now, why would you say something like that to me? I'm at home all by myself, and you're talking about there being another man here? Are you suspecting me of cheating on you right now or something? Don't do something like this, Brennan. You know better than to think your wife would ever do that to you. I have a witness's account of what was seen. What? And to gather more evidence based on what the witness had seen, a camera was placed in our bedroom. A camera? I also went and got in touch with a lawyer who hired a private investigator for me and... What? From what they were able to find for us, I've had to think about nonstop for days now. It's all gut-wrenching to think about, and I almost feel like I have appendicitis now. So you found out? That man you're currently sitting in the bathtub with just so happens to be the same man that was stalking our daughter very often two years ago. Chris, right? What? We both had thought that after the first time I talked to him about what he was doing and told him to knock it off, things would be over with. What are you doing, Haven? Ah, uh, um... Don't even try to act dumb about this all now. Start talking to me like everything has already been found out, because that's the reality of things right now. Uh, okay. I, uh, two years ago, when we started to confront Chris for stalking Maggie, uh, I fell in love with him. And, well, he sort of noticed that I began to have those feelings for him. And? Brennan. If you can promise me that you and I will get a divorce, I will leave you alone forever and marry Chris next. And I'll let you see Maggie sometimes, and you and I will never have to see or talk to one another again. How does that sound? This is exactly what my lawyer and the investigator said would happen. 
You know, it's crazy how good those two are at their jobs. Um, I never wanted to think that my wife, of all people, would start to cheat on me with the man that caused our daughter so many scares. I'm in disbelief right now. You're not mother to Maggie. But... Don't you even think of telling me there was no other choice. I'm not going to take that kind of answer from you after this. Oh, but Brennan... Just like you were asking, you and I will get a divorce. Really? Uh, are you sure? So you're really going to divorce me and let me have Chris? Yes. Well, then that means I... I can be with Chris forever now. However, Maggie will come with me. And you will never get to see or talk with her again. What? You thought that you'd just get to keep her around you? Who in their right mind would want to keep calling someone their family when they're getting married to the creep that stalked them? You know dang well that she wants nothing to do with either of you two now. But oh, everyone's always told me that in a divorce, it's always the mother that gets to keep her kids. What are you going on about, Haven? Maggie is over 18 years old now. She's an adult now, and her own person. What? The only time things like parental custody would ever be a problem in a divorce is if the kids are still younger than 18. Maggie is in her 20s now, and has the freedom to go wherever she wants and be with whoever she wants. Uh, but hold on. But Chris is a really good-looking man, and he has a lot of money. If you think about those two things together, of course Maggie will want to see us. Huh? You think that Chris has money? Back when we found out he'd been stalking Maggie for so long, you told him he had to pay a small settlement so that you wouldn't call the police on him, right? And he paid that off in one payment. That was quite a bit of money you ended up asking him for, so the fact that he was able to hand you the money right then and there means he has to be rich. You... while well, our daughter had been in distress, who the hell were you worried about? It's not my fault that I just so happened to fall in love with another man at that time. Love is a thing that nobody truly understands. That's not what I'm talking about. You want to know where that money came from? It came from his father, who happens to be a business owner. He owns a construction company that is doing very well and brings in a lot of money for him. What? And guess what? After what happened then, his mom and dad both disowned him and told him his chances of ever getting the company were zero. And so for the past two years, he's been doing very ethically questionable and downright illegal jobs for people trying to make some cash. To those of us who know a thing or two about these kind of people, we call them lowlifes. And normally I don't mean that in a derogatory way, but in his case, he is a terrible person. What? Are you sure about that? How about you ask your boyfriend who is sitting right there next to you? Although I'm sure as of right now, he doesn't have the patience to sit around and tell you the truth. Huh? What do you mean? Right now, my parents, and your parents, along with Chris's parents and my lawyer. What? They're all sitting outside the house right now, and will be letting themselves in. Wait! What? Are you still trying to relax in the tub? Get your clothes on, and go downstairs right now. Hey, Brennan. Oh, please let me back into your life. I was thinking that by becoming Chris's wife, I'd become so happy and live a happy life. But right after we got married, I never expected him to change so suddenly. He's scaring me, Brennan. I finally found a chance to text you without him being around me. Oh, please help me. Help me, Brennan. Please. After my parents and everyone else entered the house, they were all about to get my wife and Chris downstairs and sat them both down. None of them even said a word after sitting them down at the couch. They only gave them very disappointed stares that dug right into their souls. I eventually arrived there soon after everyone else, and we started talking about what had happened and what was going to happen involving those two. And thank goodness I didn't let my daughter come home, because a lot of the things they said about everything was terrible. A few days later, I was able to confirm that money came from both of them to pay the settlement I had asked for, then proceeded to go to the courthouse with my lawyer 
and divorce her. But even after that, those two somehow still went and got married. And after that, Haven got to find out just how scary of a man Chris really is. He never lets her out of his sight. And he's watching her on all platforms to make sure she's not up to anything. She also got to find out about his line of work, or lack thereof, which I told her a little while back was illegal in many ways. Let's just say that if he really wanted to, he could probably make some that good money off of my ex-wife's body if he needed to. Well, I'm long gone from that whole situation now, so I don't care what happens between those two, because none of us really understand love anyway, right? <laughs> As for my daughter and I, we both made sure that after all the trouble of dealing with Haven, we got right back to work and finished the project to hand. After that project we had both been working on turned out to be a major success, her company ended up merging with mine and she was promoted. And with the promotion, though, she was asked to stay at the office we had visited so much, and so she moved out of state. I stayed sort of close to home, and since I got a small promotion myself, I am now the manager of the projects department that works right alongside my daughter. Every so often, I'll go out to see her for work, and so when I do, I stay over at her house instead of getting a hotel room from the company. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story.